rise in anti-Muslim sentiment in the UK is making some MPs consider whether even the Christian Bible should be read out loud in public. The fear is it could incite religious hatred amid already tense times, with scenes like the following on the streets of British cities. It's a Christian country. It's a Christian country. Yes, it is. This is a Christian country. Are you jealous? Are you jealous that we're taking over? You're not taking over. What are you doing here? Why are you closing the door? 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 Christianity is the main religion in the UK, with 59% considering themselves Christians. Muslims make up the second largest group, 4.8%, but it's growing fast. In fact, the number has increased by more than a million in a decade. Over 8% of school-aged kids are from Muslim families, and Mohammed was the most popular boy's name in England and Wales in 2014, all of which is causing some national soul-searching, as Polly Boyker investigates. An increasing number of people here now say that Britain is no longer a Christian country, that it should be a secular state with no official religion. And that's what's being debated here at the British Academy. The generation who went to church because it was the thing to do are now in their 70s, 80s. So the figure will get lower. Facts like these are hard to argue with. We have to try to make the debate a debate, and all four of us have agreed over quite a wide range of issues. Uh, I'm not sure if I can help at this point, because I agree with what Dermot has just said. And then there's this thorny issue. As one student recently said to me, my mum's so Daily Mail, she's only Christian when Islam is in the news. I want to find out what the audience thought. Any religion, whatever you want to worship is fine, but don't impose it on me. You agree with some of the views there that um, the church should be disestablished, that it's no longer relevant? Uh, I think it should be disestablished. Um, I'm actually training for ordination in the Church of England. I think that there will always be um, a remnant of people who profess Christian faith. Um, I think... A remnant sounds ever so small a number of people. <laughs> well, I mean, has it ever... Well, OK. Do you think the church is still relevant today in British society? I do, but it's such a struggle these days. I personally think it's still relevant. Uh, the question is, is it still a Christian country? And the views are pretty diverse. So this Church of England is Church of Satan. <laughs> Satan, we got mammon, money. So the Church of England is the Church, Church of Satan. Of well, the debate is over, but one question remains, and that is, given the dramatic rise in atheism here in the UK, as well as an increasing popularity of other religions, how long until the British government has to confront the issue of the UK's fading Christianity head-on? Reporting from London, 